Six Flags Grand America, being a major park, receives coasters quite often. But with the year 2021 starting, could we see any new additions? Let's get right to it. I will be talking about the most likely additions I could see the park adding in the near future. I have noticed from many visits that the park is very well rounded, so it will be tough trying to find something that would fill the gaps. Most of these coasters will follow the trend of the park's additions. I recommend sticking till the end of the video for a surprise. Now let's start it off with the first option. The first option is an RMC Raptor or T-Rex. This could be put in the place of the water rides. The log rides are rarely in operation. This is mainly due to staffing issues, but I am sure Six Flags could solve that problem. Also, they already have a water park and this doesn't fit in the dry park. It would be a great addition because it is low cost and draws in a lot of people. We already know anything that RMC makes satisfies not only the enthusiast, but also the GP. Six Flags Great America is known for adding new models. No other park has bought the T-Rex model yet, so this coaster might as well be another added to that list. It will be a hit in the park, because the RMC that is in the park consistently gains long lines. There is no questioning that this will be a hit in the park. The second option is adding the new SNS Access Coaster. This is likely because Six Flags have been testing out with new coasters at this park, like I stated before. For example, they added the first ever B&M Stand Up, Invert, and technically the first B&M Hyper. Six Flags Great America isn't afraid of taking risks with these new models. And Six Flags has a really good relationship with the SNS because they have been adding a lot of coasters lately. There are two coasters by SNS at Great America. This includes Joker and Max Force. I think this would be a great fit in the park and be great financially for Six Flags Great America. I also think that maybe, just maybe, they could convert one of the cars on Max Force to an Axis car. Another option is removing Vertical Velocity, the park's intimate impulse coaster, and replacing it with something that would fit in that plot of land. That thing would be a Skyrocket 2 roller coaster. This may occur because it isn't that expensive of an option, and we know Six Flags always goes for the cheapest options. Also, we have seen Six Flags add a Skyrocket 2 to Six Flags Discovery Kingdom in California. In fact, it was the very first Skyrocket 2. Moreover, like Demon, V2 just doesn't gain that long of a line, and it is somewhat problematic. I haven't experienced one of these models, but I think the public would love it and gain a lot longer lines. I could also see them GCIing American Eagle, the dueling intimate wooden coaster. This coaster is old and getting a little rough, so it would be great if they retract it. Plus, the coaster doesn't receive much of a line. If they do this option, it would probably be a Mobius track like Twisted Colossus. However, this would upset most of the public because people believe that the roughness gives it character. They could also go the Iron Gwazi route and combine both tracks into one ride. I could easily make a video going more in depth with this topic, so subscribe with notifications turned on to watch that video when it comes out. Another option is a B&M Floorless Coaster. The reason this might occur is because Demon is coming to an end in its lifespan, so it will have to be replaced by something that would fill the spot in the coaster lineup. And I think this option would. These have been quite popular in the coaster industry, with 14 of them. The last one was Firebird at Six Flags America in 2019, which was converted from a stand-up into a floorless. Because Demon gains little to no lines, 
Six Flags should probably replace it with something more modern and smooth. I know if they tried to do this, a lot of people would be upset because of all the history Demon has provided, just like American Eagle. It would be missed and not forgotten. Finally, the park can add another family coaster because all they have is Wizard. The rest are considered either thrill or kitty coasters. I would like an intimate multi-launch coaster, kind of similar to Cheetah Hunt, because these models are really popular at parks. The whole family can enjoy these coasters, so it would bring in large crowds. I'm unsure of what it would replace, but I don't think it will replace Wizard, only because of how historic and rare it is. Tell me in the comments what you want to see the park getting. Also, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe with notifications turned on so you won't miss out. I will have links in the description to all the videos that made this possible. For sticking until the end, I will reward you with one last montage. <laughs>